Hello, welcome to our channel. We appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for coming. Very interesting. Guess who's got to replace Biden? Maybe, possibly, as the Dems have a total meltdown over the fact that Biden can't speak or hold a thought. And no, the jig's up. The jig's up, or his earpiece went off they because cannot, somebody pulsed him. They can't hide it, control it anymore. They can't hide it anymore. Biden and his entire staff are whack-a-doodle. Anyway, um, first a note from our advertiser. I have a hat. My relationship with them is I buy from them. We're probably going to buy from them sometime in the middle of the month when I get another check coming in. And then um, they have a really good special this week. Oh, my God. It's, if you start a qualified IRA, and it's big enough. Go ahead. Okay. Are you worried about the future of the U.S. economy? Uh, how about the U.S. dollar? <laughs> with so many uncertainties in the air, it's natural to fret about the security of your retirement savings. But there's one asset that stands the test of time, and that's gold. For centuries, gold has been a hedge against market volatility and economic instability. With a gold IRA from Noble Gold Investments, you can harness the power of precious metals to help protect your financial future by rolling over your existing IRA or 401k into a self-directed gold IRA you can enjoy the potential for long-term growth and stability diversity d diversify your portfolio with the tangible asset that has real value setting up your uh, gold IRA has never been easier with noble gold investments streamlined process and expert guidance this election year don't let election volatility and uncertainty keep you up at night. Vote for <laughs> the timeless safety of gold and silver in 2024. Noble Gold Investments will give you up to 10 one-ounce silver Trump coins or a 10-ounce silver American flag bar if you open a qualified account. Go to Noble Gold Investments dot com now that's noblegoldinvestments.com the link will be below with the national socialist democratic workers party in power the same one that ran germany from 1933 to 1945 with the national socialist party in power and biden being the chief member do you really trust your money in a bank yeah get a clue i don't anyway a couple of notes. The streets are beginning to melt down. We're going to have some real fun this week as streets across the southern United States melt down. Now, what's that mean? It means the tar is going to form bubbles and you're going to slide on it because the oil is coming out of the gravel. You see, all they have to do to fix this is put cement dust on the tar on a hot day. Or they could put 3 8 inch minus gravel on it. But they have to support the illegal aliens. So they're buying cheap tar with asphalt in it that melts. The problem is, not only are we getting 120 degrees, the sun is getting hotter because it's turned white. But we're going to have some real good sunspots hitting us starting tomorrow. By the 3rd, many of the streets in Phoenix, St. George, the whole southern United States will start to bubble and melt. So as you come around the corner, you may just not stop like my Acura when I put my foot on the brakes. It didn't stop. We can't get the brake light off, by the way. After a month, we still can't figure it out. Anyway, um, the streets are going to melt because they're using cheap, cheap, cheap asphalt. You see, they got to support illegal aliens. I'm sorry, undocumented workers, or what do you, what do you call them now? I don't Foreign, know, everything, they've changed it. So foreigners, National Socialist Democratic Party. That's how the Democrats are registered with the IRS, YouTube. Look it up. Anyway, um, another announcement is the rainbow people. There's a rainbow gathering in Plumas National Forest. Apparently they happen all over the country. Kind of like a mini Woodstock. You go there, you get high smoke dope. I've been to these solar conferences. Everybody's outside. It smells like burning rope. Don't go. If you don't want to get high, don't go. Remember I went to one. I was supposed to do some kind of speaking the next morning. I went in my truck and I closed the door and went to sleep. The entire area smelled like dope smoke. I should have gone home. People were doing something like vaping inside. I don't know what vaping is, but boy, when they woke up, their eyes were bloodshot and they looked like heck warmed over. I mean, they looked like they had the worst hangover in the world. Folks, drugs ain't worth it. They're not worth it. Anyway, um, there is a complete 
So what's happening in Plumas National Forest, you see, they eliminated foresters. Category 460 is white male, so there's no more foresters. So there's nobody out in the woods. So the Plumas National Forest Forest Service is getting money under the table to send out private loggers to rape the land. Well, when these rainbow people come in, they don't follow the laws, and they're legally allowed to camp there for one month. The problem is when you get five or 10,000 dope smokers, they leave such a pig pen and they got poop from one side of the forest to the other everywhere. They don't dig holes, they just go poop. A lot of them don't even have toilet paper. It's one of the most disgusting things, the most filthiest people you've ever seen. Many of them, many of them are there for a month. They don't wear shoes, they don't take a bath, they stink to high heaven. I've never seen such a thing in my life. Uh, we're free. No, you're not. You're just a gum, bunch of government-supported filthy pigs who smoke dope using government money. Now, the other thing the Plumas National Forest, the, the Forest Service cops don't want you to find is the number of illegal dope growing operations in Plumas National Forest. It's ripe with them. So they're going to try to arrest all 10,000 rainbow people. Do you know that, Jane? They're gonna rent, they're gonna give them, they're wandering around giving out. Half these people don't even have ID. They're living in the national forest. They come out of the national forest. They've been stealing for a livelihood because they want food, you know. Amazing thing, Jane, people get hungry. So they live in the woods in tents and they steal food from locals, smash windows, bust into the homes, and now they're giving them five thousand dollar fines, and a lot of them don't even have any ID. That's called stupid. Go ahead, Jane. No, I'm just, I just, I, what's your, what's your uh, main? The emphasis is, there's no more freedom in America. You can't even camp on a National Forest Service no. land anymore. There's a regulation. I know, I was a Forest Service cop. White male, so I was only a seasonal. Didn't want to join their satanic cult. Didn't want to get paid off to let the dope growers grow dope in the forest. So I left, got my master's degree. Figured out how to reverse, to cure all, uh, I'm sorry. To eliminate all tree diseases. Miracle grow Epsom salt and green palm oil soap. So, there's a huge, huge meltdown in our law enforcement across the country as they try to arrest these people who are exercising their ability to camp on Forest Service land, which is no longer ours. It belongs to China. Did you know that? The entire Forest Service Corporation belongs to China. It's no longer yours. You don't own it. You will do exactly what you're told by the National Socialist Workers' Party. It's called the Democratic Party. That's how it's registered. Look it up in the IRS regulations. Anyway, um, Dems are in complete meltdown. ABC, NBC, CBS. These are some of the articles Benjamin Fulford. Benjamin Fulford pulled out of the, out oh, off of the uh, internet. Biden delivers unsteady performance in debate with Trump. Unsteady. The guy was just fried in the brain. Can Democrats replace Biden as their nominee? That was Vox News. These, this is Forbes. Now, Forbes is usually written several days before the story occurs. So these are likely Democratic presidential candidates if Biden drops out. A rough debate prompts calls to stand down. And here it is. Sense of shock. Democrats melt down over Joe Biden's debate disaster. Well, it's been the talk of the whole weekend. Yeah, that's all they can talk about. Not the fact that we lost another, you know, 15,000 Ukrainian soldiers thanks to U.S. weapons. Dead. Live update. Dems in full panic mode after Biden's stumbling performance. Pundits say. Pundits say. God, these people are about as non-committive as a rat. Dems freak out over Biden's debate performance. Politico. NBC. Oh, my God. Babbling and hoarse, Biden's debate performance sends Democrats into panic. He wasn't hoarse. Jane, he wasn't hoarse. I thought it was kind of gravelly. He's always been gravelly. Well, that double was paid to be a stupid idiot. All right. He was paid. He's a double. Come on, get a clue. How many Bidens do we have? We know the person who knows the primary double for Biden. At least this mask didn't bubble off his face this time. Remember when it fell off here and then bubbled up here and then, oh my God. So they paid him to have poor, poor, poor performance. Boy, did they pay him a lot of money. You got to be paid a lot of money to act that So stupid. they came back from the weekend at Camp David. The whole family the had whole a big powwow. Biden. If Biden's out of office, the entire Biden family goes to jail. Okay, and so what? So what was their what was their uh, their consensus this morning? The Biden double will not leave office. Yeah, we ain't gonna quit. 
he ain't gonna quit. Kamala Harris, we don't know who we're gonna we are going to replace her with. However, naval intelligence has a different perspective, along with the CIA. They say this week, are you ready for this? Spatial from St. Louis, Missouri says this. It's top secret, so get ready to put your top secret hat on because you all have a top secret security clearance for the next hour. This is all from Kent Dunn. Kent Dunn believes that Spatial... What? Sp what? Spatial. They get all the money to distribute it to the CIA and Naval Intelligence. They are the intelligence group of the intelligence groups. Okay. They are the top secret, super duper... Squirrel Space Program. What do they call us? Secret the Squirrel? Secret Squirrel per Space Program. They are the Secret Squirrel Space, space Program. Spatial controls all the money. So the Bowery Boys of Germany, what we call the Rothschilds, they're the Bower Boys. Their real name is Bower. They changed it to Rothschild. So you don't know that their name is Bowers. Bowers. B-A-U-E-R-S. Just like the Bowery Boys in New York. They killed everybody that didn't buy their whiskey. So... It's not going to be Michelle Obama to replace him because she said, Mike LeVon, number 44, Oregon State tackle, seven and a half tackles. Mike LeVon, or Michelle Obama now, they, they changed his name. Is not going to be it because Michelle Obama said, I ain't doing it. He's a racist pig. Well, we'll I, see if, if uh, Barack makes her. Money talks, BS walks. They might make, they might make him do it. Hillary, the new Hillary's 35. Oh, my God, did you see the new yeah. Hillary? She's now 35. She's a wrinkled old woman. And boy, did she age fast. She died, so her double aged fast. Now the new 35-year-old Hillary is chomping at the bits. I want to run. I want to run. Well, everybody knows she's not Hillary. I mean, well, I'm sorry. We can't Gavin, say that. We got the Gavin. Right. Gavin Newsom, who says, I am a clone. I answer to an AI. Gavin Newsom said, I will not run for president. I am an AI. So Gavin Newsom's out. Bill Gates is dead. What about Chucky Schumer? Yeah, his name hasn't really surfaced. What about Pencil Night Geek? Nope, not From surfaced. Intelligence. The ones that they're talking about the most are Michelle Obama and Hillary. But... That, that, that's the ones that are coming up the most. Now, I'm not saying that that's what's going to happen, but that's the talk more. So they're saying, look over here. But look at what we're doing over here. Don't look, because we got y'all focused here. Oh, my God. We can't do giggle face Kamala Harris, because she just giggles all the time. Oh, yeah, Kamala Harris, forget her, and she's mad. I'm going to run for president. <laughs> and for president, I will run. And then I'm going to run for president... And I'm, I'm going to run for the Democratic presidency, and I'll be the president nominee of the presidency. That's, that's Kamala Harris. She couldn't put a sentence together if she tried. They chose the two most unelected officials and made them president and vice president. Remember Biden and Kamala Harris were at the bottom of the pack? You know who was at the top of the pack? A Navy vet. A man who can't even fix I-5, I-10, I-15, I-20, I-25, I-80, I-90. A man who can't even fix I-90 with $41 billion a year. There's rebar sticking out of the freeway on the way to the Snohomish. You can't even fix... You can't even repave I-5 with $41 billion. And he has half a trillion dollars of state money at who, his disposal. Who are you talking about? This man who cannot repave I-90 or I-80 or I-70... With half a trillion dollars, this man, who's the number one Democratic presidential candidate in 2020 till he was bumped, this man who spends most of your Department of Transportation money to support people who are, how, how, how are we supposed to say it, For, uh, undocumented foreigners who are now getting American jobs, this man who wants Medicare for everyone, including those who come across the border. Who do you think that man is? This man who is he was in naval intelligence. Pete Buttigieg. Oh, that's who um, Kent Dunn says? Whose male husband adopted a boy. So Kent Dunn thinks that uh, he thinks Buttigieg is... Buttigieg is... Buttigieg, 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 Bu
He thinks that he's going to be the nominee. He thinks that they're going to slip him in. That I, Biden's going to melt down in the next couple weeks. What, what are what are his uh, reasonings for he that? He believes that he's simply going to be elected. He, he's got top secret information. That Buttigieg will be elected. Now, who will be his running mate? Who do you think? Tulsi Gabbard. Tulsi Gabbard is in Army Intelligence. Pete, but a but a but a but a gig. But 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 gig is in Naval Intelligence. So they're going to run two intelligence officers for president and vice president. Now, but a gig. But a gig was appointed as a congressman, but first he was appointed as a mayor. So he's appointed uh, as a mayor and then goes off to deploy for a year in the reserves, in naval intelligence. Then he comes back as mayor, so nobody's there to run the city he's part of. So then he's re-elected as manager and gets redeployed. So he's a mayor in absentia. So he's not there to be mayor, he's simply over there somewhere being a naval officer. You see, you have to have a naval JAG officer in every single conflict because the Navy runs the conflict. Because the Army is not allowed to leave the country, according to the Constitution, unless they're under the Navy. And the Air Force is part of the Army, so they have to have a JAG officer run the Navy and the Army. A lawyer running the conflicts. That's why we have all these... When you can't shoot somebody unless they've sh shot at you three times. And you can't take them down unless they kill an American first. And you can't shoot back when a missile comes in. That's all done by lawyers, naval lawyers. But again, it is the guy who sets those rules. Well, you can't fire back when they fire at you. This is Buttigieg. Yeah, but you know, the thing is, is that he really doesn't have an electability thing up there. People, he doesn't, I mean, he's a, a household name, but he doesn't really have the appeal. He's the household name because he can't fix the freeway. But he, <laughs> he's such an idiot and a liar and a thief. But he, you see, if Biden goes away, Buttigieg gets arrested first. Well, no, actually, the governor and the attorney general of Pennsylvania will be the first two to be thrown in solitary confinement. Anyway, go ahead, Jane. He has no electability. He's stupid. Well, I mean, he doesn't have a, a favorability quotient. People don't like him to vote for him. No, he, that's a weirdo. And Tulsi Gabbard, guess what she did? She joined the Hawaii National Guard as a legislative person and then was deployed overseas for a year while she was a legislature. She was a state congressman, and then she got herself deployed overseas for a year while she held the state congressman position open. Buttigieg was a mayor and went overseas for a year and held that mayoral position open. Very similar careers. Very similar careers. I was offered in the Naval Intelligence but I knew the guy who offered me the position, and he was absolutely had no morals and he, none. He was a, a lying, cheating thief. I don't want anything to do with naval intelligence. Because I would balk because they're here to destroy the United States. I know the people in naval intelligence. Their captain is an absolute destroyer. Megawitch. Number three, Warlock. They're here to destroy. So Tulsi Gabbard is a, what they call a blue Democrat, a conservative Democrat. But, oh, she became a Republican overnight. I'm a Democrat one moment and I'm a Republican the other moment. Now, the plan, Puttigieg, did you know he's already put out a presidential plan? He wants to burn the Constitution, burn the Bill of Rights. You are a citizen of the United States, not the United States... You're a citizen of the United States Corporation. You will do what you're told. You will have no rights, no freedom of speech, no right to keep and bear arms, no right to a speedy trial, no right to be confronted by your accuser, no right to the Fifth Amendment, which means you don't have to incriminate yourself. None of these rights are allowed under the National Socialist Party. National Socialist Democratic Workers' Party. So, the, all your money, will the taxes will more than double, and all of the money will go to 
undocumented workers. There will be massive troop buildup in Syria and Iraq, in Romania, Bulgaria, everything surrounding the Ukraine as we pump in several trillion more dollars into the Ukraine, but we have no more weapons to send them. So Buddy Gig is, he's crazy. He's, um, oh, what do you call it when somebody imagines something that can't happen? Delusional? He's delusional. Buddy Gig is delusional. He thinks he's a normal family with two dads. He really thinks he's a normal family. Anyway, Tulsi Gabbard is a Hindu. And Buttigieg is a warlock. So, that's who Kent Dunn thinks and the top secret. We'll find out in a week. If we have another uh, Biden meltdown, there isn't going to be a lot of choice. They're going to have to bring somebody in. And they want to bring in Buttigieg. Because he's the natural choice. He's the one that will make the Muslims hate America. Because he's openly gay. He's the one who kissed Obama on the mouth. He gave Obama a lip lock. These are some really sick people. They really need God, I'm telling you what. Obama, we're on what, number seven now? We're on Hillary, number eight. We're on Biden, number 42, for all I know. Anyway... So Buttigieg, according to Kent Dunn, was picked to be the super duper top the, the super duper squirrel top secret space program appointee to replace Biden. And once Biden's replaced, his entire family goes to jail for treason. This is going to be an interesting year. Because Biden's going to melt down again in the next couple of days. He's going to have a massive meltdown. And then everybody's going to look at him and, and giggle face. We'll go, hey, hey, Biden, Biden didn't do so well. Not so well did he do. <laughs> he couldn't speak. Speak not could he. He didn't do good. This is, hey, hey, giggle face Kamala. She can't say anything. Anyway, God bless. Thank you very much. Tomorrow, who knows what the demon rats will do. You're coming up on the 4th of July. We're coming up on the 4th. So they're going to try to cancel freedom every which way they can. And it's the 4th, which is a major satanic festival. Nigel Farage has an election on the 4th. We have Freedom Day, so expect anything as these national socialists plan all kinds of freaky things like arresting people for hanging out in the National Forest for three days, which is illegal. God bless. Thank you very much. We appreciate each and every one of you. We're the most family-friendly channel on the Internet. Food, water, toilet paper, ammunition, heat, communications, gold and silver, medicines, and schnookies. And if you start a qualified IRA today, you get these Trump coins. We have one, but we got it four years ago, so it's stashed away off site. We can't find it. Anyway, it's somewhere. God bless. Thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow.